Hey guys, this is Brett. Thought we'd do a little, another little video about the pump system. Sorry about the camera, but the camera's been inside the house and it's in the 70s inside the house. It's in the 90s out here. Heat index is only 114 today. It ain't bad at all. I'm gonna have to clean the camera though. Hang on. Camera don't know what to think about this kind of temperature. <laughs> I've already got my pump running. I got the five gallon bucket full. I'm gonna try to time this and see how long it takes. Roughly. If I can get my phone to play nice. I'm gonna close off the valve, go into the tank and open the valve, go into the five gallon bucket and we'll see how long it takes for it to drain. Here we go. Looks like about one minute, 50 seconds. I gotta open that back up. I'm gonna open both valves up. It'll fill my tank up plus it's pump water because I've got enough gravity flow in my tank to push through the pump and push in this. Of course, the tank's very full. We've had some good rains over the springtime and I've kept the water. Not the best smelling stuff. I gotta treat it again. I try not to treat it too much, but I don't really want all that in my water. But all right, we got the tank full. We got the valve shut off. I'm thinking to add some Miracle Grow to it. When I get it done, I'll tell you what we got there. Let me show you what I'm putting in here today. I didn't cover that before I started all this. I'm using the miracle Grow Bloom Booster. It's actually for flowers. I'm not a big fan of miracle Grow. It, it has its uses, but I don't usually use miracle Grow. The reason I picked this one out, it's 52% uh, phosphate. The phosphorus is really high, the nitrogen is only 10%, and the potash is only 10%. So it's basically, I get it in there if we can see it. This is going to give it a really good boost of phosphate, which should make it bloom better, which should feed it for fruiting. It was the quickest thing I'd come up with with our little hardware stores. The one we had in town don't even have this. All they have is regular America Grow. I happened to go by Ace Hardware and I stopped and looked in it and they had four or five kinds of America Grow. Okay, I put uh Enough for nine gallons, that was six scoops. I used the, cut, the teaspoon and a half. I think it says in the instructions, the big scoop is for a gallon and a half of water. So I mixed it almost double because I'm gonna cut the valves over here about half and half. I want the water to go out slowly. That way it kind of mixes with the water because I've been pushing water for about an hour through my lines. I know the ground's saturated. This ain't going to just go set on top of the, the roots and burn them. And I'll probably run some water afterwards. Just to make sure it gets washed in. That, that's a, that's go half and half here. About like that. My phone had cut off. We're going to time this. And I'll turn the camera back on when it gets to the bottom and I'll show you my time. Just a little update. This is about halfway point. A little over two minutes. So it'll be mixed roughly with, we're going to say, 10 gallons of water. 
which are to work out good that should fill my lines up plus some which means it hopefully it will stretch through all the lines a little at a time not pile up one line this is just a little boost for the garden because it's gotten dry the last few days we have spells of rain that last for days and we have long dry spells or even plants sitting in the ground and quilting it's so hot but I turn the camera back on we get to the bottom all right we're to the bottom actually I caught it a little late I wasn't paying attention a little over five minutes what my timer has of course my phone didn't want to stop but it took a little over five minutes to do that I'm gonna put some water in behind it but I'll probably fill that up and flush it but by valves half and half I got nine gallons of nine or ten gallons of concentrated water in there in my line which took a few minutes but it should have spread it out good I have to say my PVC valves after being on here for a year they're kind of stiff they're kind of hard to deal with you gotta twist on them pretty good gate valves would have been better but gate valves are expensive and the whole point behind this was to build something that was that I could use it wasn't expensive now the fertilizer injector tanks they build is great I'd love to have one but for the price they have on them I just can't afford it it's not profitable I guess you could say for for me right now but I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes and pump some extra water through the lines make sure it's flush good I'll open this valve back up flush my tank because I don't want it to sit in there I'll give it another drink out of it I should get the reef the rest of it out. It looked like it dissolved really good. Like I said, I'm not a miracle grow person. I normally would use something else, but I spotted that and I knew it had high phosphorus and dark blue. You can see it good. I could make a video about it. But that's how but that's how we use this thing. I fill it up with water. Put the miracle grow in it or the fertilizer liquid fertilizer water soluble fertilizer whatever you want to use you can actually use regular fertilizer if you just soak it in water for two or three days and pour off the water and pour it in there you could use it too i've seen that done also put your fertilizer however you want to add it to the water set the valves where it goes in the way you want it to go in and i mean for a low budget i'm pumping liquid fertilizer to my plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good rest of the week. God bless.